How is life in slum area? It's difficult. Ooh. You have to watch every minute, every single uh, scratch that you hear, you have to check. Sometimes uh, the other people over there steal your... Uh, everything you have. Everything you have. So every moment you are on alert. Mm -hmm. It's hard, it's very hard to move uh, in uh, Islam areas. When you decided to move abroad, and you told your ah. wife, we are going to move abroad. Yeah. We are not doing this life anymore. Mm -hmm. That was 2008. In 2008, mm -hmm. it was, you were really poor at that time. Yeah. None of you I had work. Nothing. You had nothing. We have nothing. Your kids, you had no a lot of money, but what about their education? Were they going to school? Yes, that time? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to school that time that they, uh, they have no uh, money. <laughs> if I remember that, I can't cry. It's hard. I don't want to go back that life anymore. It's hard. I have to see my children. Daddy, can you give me money? No, I have nothing. Go to your mom. And then, mommy, can I have money? No, I have any. That's what I decided to go abroad again. What were you eating at that time? Uh, you know, Filipinos are eating rice daily, morning, afternoon, and evening. Mm -hmm. All rice. So rice all day? Yeah, rice all rice day. Rice all day. Mm -hmm. Some meat also. <laughs> some meat also. Uh, oh, some veggies. Okay. I have to find a job mm -hmm. before losing everybody. That's what I mean. Before losing everybody? Yeah. They were starving for food? Not really. It's because uh, I'm calling my families to, to get a backup. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what did they say? They give sometimes, but sometimes no. They didn't. Yeah, but I have to stop it because I'm ashamed now. I'm, uh, yeah. I had my family too. How much money were you surviving in that period of time? How much money per month were four of you living with? Maybe 10,000 uh, pesos, 20,000 like. Yeah. All the family living in, in Manila. Mm -hmm. We have to, uh, you know. So I mean, one, one hundred, one hundred and fifty dollars. It's not enough. It's not enough. For four people yeah. living in that one family. How old your, were your kids at that time? It's uh, 15 and the other one is 10. In that time? That time. Did they come with you here in Albania? Not yet. No, no they are there? <laughs> they are there. In Manila? In Manila. They're studying right now. They are studying right now? Yeah. Are they in university? In college? The other one is graduating, hopefully this uh, coming uh, October. Oh, it's coming in October? Yeah. We'll graduate uh, in, uh, in high school. In high school? high school, okay. And the other one? And the other one is in high school next year. Next year. Next year. Oh, yeah. Okay. You applied on an agency? Yes, I, I applied an agency. And uh, they called you to m the next day and they told you, uh, yeah. Samuel, we have a job for you. Yeah. <laughs> so you were happy at that time? I'm so Do very happy. Do you remember happy. that moment? Yeah, <laughs> I'm so very happy. You're very happy? Yeah. Did you tell to your kids that uh, you found it a job? Yeah. <laughs> but what did they told you? They are happy too because uh, I have a new job. Life starts over again. And they said, my uh, eldest son, that please be good to your job, new job for us to live. That's it. <laughs> he told you be good to your new job yeah. for us to live. Yeah. So he was pushing a bit, he was putting you a bit of pressure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, I have to do it because I am the father of the family. I have to find money <laughs> for you to eat and study. Për të mos humbur as një për intervistave në Real People, bëni subscribe në kanalin e Euronews Albania.